hey friends welcome back to my channel and let's do a tour of my apartment in johannesburg um, this is central square santon one of the really big sellers is the security level at this building you literally need electronic access to get in if you're a resident so you actually have to send friends and visitors an access code for them to even get into the building which is great so that's the first seller let's get into the actual apartment so this is the entrance you walk right into the kitchen which is a decent size as a single person living here i feel like it's perfect um, all of the appliances are behind these white cupboards so it actually comes with a refrigerator a dishwasher and a washer dryer this is the second bedroom of the apartment, which is right near the entrance, and it has a bathroom inside of it, which we all love. So moving back to the kitchen area or the living area, like I said, it has all the appliances included, and I love the like white finish of the kitchen. I feel like it keeps, it makes it look very clean and modern. So I was really into it whenever I saw this. Um, one of the other things I like about the apartment is all the storage that it comes with, like all of the shelving space that I'm like not even really using. It's amazing. Now on to the master bedroom, which is where I sleep. One of the cool things is you have this view in this act access to the balcony um, and then of course all of the rooms come with a lot of storage space which is amazing and then of course you have the master bathroom which has a shower and a tub which we all love and appreciate and I was really happy with the double sink here because even though I'm only one person I need two thank you so anyways back to what i consider to be i think my favorite part of the apartment which is the balcony or the patio i spend a lot of time here i like to journal here i like to smoke here i like to just hang out here especially sunrise and sunset the balcony is huge okay and i feel like the view is very decent so i had a very lovely time living in this building over the last year and a half so let's get into some of the other parts of living in this building that makes it so worth the money that you spend because it's not just the actual apartment so let's take a little tour of the rest of the building so aside from really nice apartments and some lovely views, one of the things about this building is that it has a ton of businesses here. I'm talking hair salons, like just anything that you can really think of. And for me, I just appreciate the access. I can like literally walk out of my apartment and be where I need to be. So one of the biggest sellers I think of living here is the gym. There's a Gold's Gym and I know a lot of flats or apartments in South Africa usually come with maybe like a smaller gym in their building. Usually maybe it's in the garage or in a decent sized area. But for me, I just really like that it's an actual um, like Gold's Gym. So I decided since I don't have to spend the monthly fee for gym access, I spend a monthly fee on a personal trainer. I have some goals over the summer and being able to live in the apartment building and have free access to the gym just really helped me cut my costs there. So this is definitely one of the biggest perks for me that I appreciate. So here we'll just walk around a little bit more so you can see like this is a actual like full on gym full access gym there are lockers workout rooms or for the classes um there's actually like a spa room there's like so much in this gym so i really like it um, i just wanted to give you an idea of you know what kind of access you have in the gym while you are living in central square santon Okay, so now we're leaving the gym and we're heading to some more space within the apartment building. This is basically like a nice relaxation area or rest area. There's also like the small playground area for kids, which I feel like is really great for 
families if you live in this building then if you walk a little farther you can see that there is a coffee shop this cute little coffee shop called holy basil i just i love it i love it here so again you have like all these really cool perks now i'll take you to the best part of the entire building the main reason why i even live here at all in the meantime what i pay i pay 15 500 a month which is the equivalent of about 800 dollars maybe like eight hundred and ten dollars um and i got it for pretty cheap i feel like you would probably actually be paying like 20k or 25k which would be the equivalent of like a thousand dollars to like twelve hundred dollars a month but if you think about what that would get you in a major city in america for me i feel like it's still a steal and like i said this is the best part of the entire building this is why i moved here the rooftop look at the views on this roof like when i first saw it i was literally blown away so i usually come up here in the mornings when no one's up here maybe around like 6 a.m sometimes 7 a.m and i like to do yoga i just put my mat down anywhere like i just push these little chairs back and put my mat down and do yoga here for about 30 minutes the view is amazing it's beautiful and it's serene it's really the perfect spot for me like check it out So yes, this is what you can get in Johannesburg, in Santon, one of the most expensive areas of the city. This is, remember, a post-COVID market, I would say. And so now I want to take you on a tour of a penthouse that is for sale, which is right across from my building. As you can see, this is back to my balcony. And this is a penthouse that I've been eyeing for a while now. So there it is right there in that small brown building. And I decided I wanted to check out what the real estate market looks like as a renter, but also as a buyer. I have a ton of friends in the States who are really curious about South Africa, aside from just visiting many of them want to know what the real estate market looks like and then in addition to that I have friends in SA who are already into the real estate market they've purchased properties some are on their second or third properties so it's something that I personally have also been thinking about and wanted to share with people who are also maybe living in South Africa and might be interested in looking at the market as well so I decided to check out this penthouse like I said I've been living in my apartment for maybe over a year and a half and it's right across my balcony so this penthouse is actually located in Morningside, very close to Benmore, um, so very convenient. This is getting off the elevator right into like the um, entrance of the condo, and it has four bedrooms. Unfortunately, I didn't get the best video of the first bedroom because it's actually pretty close to the entrance of the penthouse. So it would be nice for a guest, but it also had its own bathroom. This here is the lounge area, which I actually really liked. I love that you can like see a view of the trees there, but it looks pretty small. Um, and then if you move here to the, to the dining area, I feel like that was decently sized, but then you have the kitchen back here, which seems to me to be pretty small for a condo of this size. But if you look ahead or in front of the kitchen where those white couches are you can see that there's probably space for you to expand the kitchen i'm not really sure but i'm just guessing anyways this was my favorite part this like grill outside patio area for entertainment i again love that you can see a lot of greenery a lot of trees for your view and it's so spacious you literally can do whatever it is that you need to do out there and then yeah there's a swimming pool i didn't even expect to see a swimming pool i didn't know this penthouse had one i feel like it's not a huge penthouse i mean it is pretty huge but i guess i just wasn't expecting a pool so i was pretty impressed by that then it was time to head upstairs i didn't even know that this place had more levels 
Um, so you walk up a few steps first and you get to this walkway. So it's not a real actual level, I guess. Um, and you just kind of can see some of the buildings that are surrounding the building that we're in right now. And then there is another flight of stairs that you go up to get to the very top of the penthouse. And I think this is what really blew me away. Like I'll start from the back here and just kind of show you like this is what you see when you first walk up and you look around. But then when you look ahead, you actually can see like much more greenery. So this area was really the cell for me. Um, like this really cool lounge area, which has like what I believe to be a fire pit. Then you have like this cool dining area. So yeah, I can just totally imagine all of my friends and family up here having sundowners drinks, vibing, playing music. Again, I was really sold by this part of the penthouse. Um, so as we walk back down, I'll give you a little bit of information. So like I said, this place is in Morningside and the going price I think is 18 million Rand, or I think that's at least what it was listed at before. 18 million Rand is about 933,000 USD. So it's almost a million dollars and it's 1,000 square meters. And for my Americans, that is about 10.7 thousand square feet. So I guess you just compare that with like, you know, what you would get in the States for this price, um, nearly a million dollars. What area would you be in? What state, what major city, if not a major city, would you be in? Um, and then thinking about like expats and like financing, you're eligible for up to 50% financing if you live in South Africa, but you're not a citizen. The rest you would be responsible for paying for upfront. So yeah. It's four bedrooms and like I said, you have a pool. There is the top of the penthouse where you have that beautiful view. Then you have like basically the 360 views. So I think that it is definitely intriguing for a lot of people. I mean, again, for me, a person who enjoys the views and who enjoys the city, I feel like this is kind of like the perfect thing. Which is kind of crazy. It's just that, you know, the real estate market, I think, in a ton of countries has been crazy. The same for SA. Like, I think this place has been on the market for a while. And the woman was saying that, you know, 18 million is actually too high. She had it priced too high. She had to really think about, you know, bringing it down. And another time, she could have gotten 25 million for it. So, you know how it is after COVID. But anyway, now it's time to view the rooms. Um, the first one, of course, on the first floor near the entrance. This is the second room which is not even the master bedroom but it has an end suite bathroom which is really cool um, and I thought that the view from this balcony was really nice again I'm a girl who loves views I thought this um, room in general like just the windows I thought it was really nice really decent um, lots of closet space which we can all appreciate this is the second room which is much smaller not too much closet space and then across the hall is the bathroom for this room which I also appreciate it because I feel like it was a decent size and you still had a tub in the bathroom which is great then this leads you all the way to the end of the hall where the master bedroom is and I would just say that the master bedroom is really the one that blew me away like I fell in love as soon as I seen it like look at this place like it's basically an entire suite in the back of the house like it's huge it's insane so farther back in the room you will find the bathroom like tucked off back here to the right um where you have like these double sinks you have the toilet the shower as you can see that the tub is actually not in this little nook um it's actually outside of this like area it's like basically next to the bed sort of but not really so yeah i really loved this room this is like my vibe this is what i want to wake up in in the morning i open my eyes i see trees i see luxury like i loved it and then of course one last view of the balcony coming from the master bedroom so yeah all in all i really liked this penthouse i do feel like the price is a little steep um and i'm pretty sure that it's probably going to drop from that as well 
But if you are South African in the comments, let me know what you think about this spot and other places I should check out. And if you're American in the comments, ask all the questions that you have, engage with each other. Thanks for watching. Bye.